Happy Monday. Hello, everybody. Once again, we are here. We are blessed. Thank you. I just, um, just noticed I have some more subscribers. We are really just building this movement, this strong movement. Thank you, subscribers. And I know it is directly an effect from the healing army. The healing army, you've been giving me comments. You've been sharing what's on your mind, which means that you've been viewing the videos and you've been liking them and you've been sharing them and we've been building against the minds. This channel here is uh, built for missing fathers. We're not trying to browbeat them or trying to uh, mess them up. All we're trying to do is get in contact with them and try to help them with their healing process so they can resume fatherhood. So that's the main um, part. And with this channel, please, um, if you see this information that may be helpful, please subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Um, please like it. Please view all the other videos and share the information on your social media uh, platform. So, got that out the way. I just wanted to let you know today's topic is the missing father affects when he dies when he leaves the world. Um, I, I was talking to a healing army um, particular soldier about this uh, particular topic. And I was thinking that, you know, she was, she was kind of confused. Um, what if, and I have another video about if is the missing father present or absent while he's living with his children? Cause we can have missing, we can have fathers that are missing. We can have fathers that are living with their children, but what I mean by missing, they are, they're not emotionally in tune. They're not emotionally available with their children. They're so caught up and preoccupied with other things. Um, they are just not connected, emotionally connected. And that's what children and, and, and even grown adults, they can remember, just like great Maya Angelou said, she, you would never, a person, you never forget how a person make you feel. So, you know, you have these adults that grow up and they are like still wondering and baffled, like they weren't really emotionally connected to their parents, particularly their father. So you can have that particular situation scenario where the father is missing, although he's physically present. And then let's talk about also when he's physically not present, where um, he in his mind thought that he was there, and I got another video about paying child support, that he was there because he paid child support, or he have a scenario where he was very inconsistent, and that child grew up, he or she didn't really find in their heart and mind that they had that emotional connection. And so now they faced with something that's missing, the children rather, you faced with um, abandonment issues, you faced with the mother or caretaker, that is hurting to see their child hurt because the father's not there. And then all of a sudden now, some scenarios, that father gets older, the child grows into a young adult, and then bang, he gets sick, or he may get terminally ill. And then what happened, he dies. We all have to transition one day, we all have to go. And when he dies, you leave that child that grew up wondering, hmm, I'm confused because I know I'm supposed to take care of my father and care and provide him during his last days, but at the same time, I still have that abandonment issue, that disappointment, that hurt, um, uh, and even anger because he was not there for me growing up. So I really don't have that emotional connection. But in theory, I know he's my father. In theory, I'm supposed to take care of him. In theory, I'm supposed to love him. But it's weird because I never really had that substantive, uh, you know, I, I didn't have that with him. So they leave, they, they stuck, they stuck. And this again, um, I appreciate the comments, but I'm gonna need some more comments from the healing army, and I need you to chime in. I need you to give feedback on what to do um, in situations like this. I mean, you have some, I spoke with another healing soldier uh, yesterday, and she had said that, you know, and she's in, a, she's in her young 60s, and she was like, you know what, I'm still kind of like had some questions 
about my, my dad, he left me, I mean, he died, and I still have some questions on what to do and how to feel, um, and I'm just not certain, I'm stuck. And so, what I would say today is that, yes, it's over on this side as far as physically, but if you have some, you have some questions to get to the, to the point where you're gonna accept that you will never get the answer, we can write him a letter. You can write a letter, um, you can actually talk to, like we call it the open chair method, where you have the empty chair, I'm sorry, the empty chair method, where you have the empty chair and you can talk to that chair as if that was your father. Um, you can reach out to maybe if he has other children and have conversations, have a conversation with the caretaker. But you can, there are ways where you can, the whole point is developing coping strategies. Um, yes, he is gone, but the whole point is do develop healthy coping strategies because you are in grief. First of all, you're in a state of confusion. You're in a state of hurt and disappointment. Um, you still have the abandonment issue, but at the same time, you are grieving. And grief, in my opinion, grief and sadness is, is one of the two most powerful I mean, emotions that a human being can, can have. Um, grief, and I know one would think anger, yes, but grieving, that is strong. That's such a strong emotion. And so I would say to um, go through the stages of grief with uh, Kubla Ross in the 70s. She was a researcher who wrote Stages of Grief, and she did some research on there about, you know, denial and, you know, and, and depression and, you know, anger, and you, you get to bargaining, and finally you get to acceptance of that loss. But during those stages, um, you know, of bargaining, and bargaining mean, I wonder, you know, it, it could have been this, it could have been that, I wish I, wish I should have, and you bargain. Maybe if I would did this, if you did this, it would have happened. And then, you know, you do have the depression sometimes, and unfortunately, but hopefully the, the goal is, the last stage of grief, is to get to acceptance, to accept that you would probably get that, never get that answer that you, that you that you sought, and so um, that's okay. That's okay because what I'm here to, to share with you is to you know dig into your strength to meet your needs, whatever your strengths are. If you have a spiritual connection with with God, please tap into that. Tap into um, your Creator. Tap into um, what makes you feel good. Be around people that show up for you. Ask questions, and then that's how you cope as well. All your strength that you have, music, art or any type of gift, because everyone has gifts, everyone has gifts. Tap into those gifts to actually help you heal and help you cope. And I always say healing, it, it, it's no timetable on healing. Healing, it, it, just heal, take your time to heal. But I need the, um, the, the I, I need you guys, I need the healing army to chip in, to make some comments. Again, I have a lot of, um, I welcome all the, uh, uh, new subscribers, the, the healing army that comes from LinkedIn, showing me love. LinkedIn, you, it's a lot of professionals on there that's doing great work out there. So I'm going to need you to give me some feedback. Um, all the healing armies that's watching this video, I'm going to need you to give me some feel, feedback because again, we're solution focused on this channel and we're trying to come up together to help the healing of the missing father. So again, just be on the lookout. Um, I was on WBGR last Monday. I did the first part in a series of um, um, missing fathers and I'm doing it again today. So make sure you look out for that, WBGR.com. Uh, That's a um, radio broadcast and discussing about missing fathers. Please subscribe, don't forget. One thing I wanna say, males, okay, pay attention. Boys do what they want to do, okay? Men do what they have to do. God, God bless y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. We rolling. We in the movement. We're going to get those mental fathers to resume their responsible uh, role as a father. Thank you. God bless you. I'll see you next week. Peace.